Welcome back guys, Jason Hess here with another video, but today's video I'm super stoked about because this is for all of my Honda Talon guys out there. So a lot of you guys know that over at Costa Mesa right now, the Sand Sports Super Show is going on. There's a ton of Honda Talons. I'm gonna take you guys over there and look at what's going on for the aftermarket world for your Honda Talon. So first, we have to jump in one of our stocking dealers, which is Huntington Beach Honda, because they are one of the first shops to have our full synthetic 10W30, which you should be running in your Honda Talon. Let's jump inside real quick, take a look at the shop, and then we're taking a buzz to the Sand Sport Show. Alright guys, we've made it here to Sandsport Super Show 2019. Let's take a look inside and see if we can find some Honda Talons. Alright guys, right out of the gate, we've got the main Honda booth right out here in front. So we're going to take a look. They actually brought out the four-seater. Uh, that's will be the first time I get to see that thing. So let's jump over to the Honda booth here and see what these guys got. All right, guys, so we're out here at the Honda booth. They've got the new four-seater, uh, which is pretty cool because I've been waiting for the longest time to know how much leg room's in the back of this thing. I've uh, been kind of on the fence as far as, uh, you know, is this gonna work or not? So we're gonna talk to one of the guys here at Honda and show exactly what kind of space we got in the back seat of this thing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right guys, so that's it for the Honda booth. We checked out the four seat, uh, showed you a little bit of the leg room that can uh, be had in that back seat. So I'm stoked on it. I think that's the one I'm gonna be picking up, but now I'm gonna go over to the rest of the show and see what else we got for aftermarket.
Mark Quintero here with System 3 Wheels. Tell us a little bit about the Honda Talent you got going on here, Mark. What's happening, guys, out here at the Sand Show today? We got the Honda Talent set up here on our SB4B locks. Um, it's a cool setup right here, running the RT320 tires, the 33 9 and a half 15s. Um, well, the cool thing is with the, our setup and our wheels um, is we have the perfect offset for the Honda Talent. Uh, we got a 6-1 in the front, a 4-3 option in the rear. It's going to keep you right there where uh, the, the stock geometry it needs to be at for these cars to run uh, the best performance out there in the desert. So um, it's a really good setup. We're really excited. This Honda Talon is looking real clean. Good ground clearance and uh, ready to tear up the desert. I'm over here with uh, Jamie Campbell. He has the uh, probably the nicest talent I've ever seen at the show so far. I wish this thing was out more visible for you guys to see, but that's why we're here shooting this stuff. Now, to start off on the front of the car, you've got a super trick bumper with like a sway bar integration it looks like you're working on. Yeah, so I wanted to do something more uh, kind of desert friendly. Um, bolt on, uh, the consumer could buy it, bolt it on their car. Um, I just feel with these UTVs, they, they do have a need for a front sway bar in certain situations. So I integrated a you know, mount uh, for that in the bumper. So I'm basically calling this my Desert Series bumper. Okay. Um, you could hold a couple lights, uh, you know, configurations. Um, it will be set up to slide a, a sway bar through there. Um, I will have billet aluminum uh, arms coming. So. Now on the steering on the tie rods, is that something that's already in uh, production? Is that something that's coming yeah. down the road? Or yeah, yeah. So we did a we did a seventy seventy five um, hard anodized uh, tie rod kit. Um, it uses a heat treated you know aircraft uh, style material pin um, with a FK rod end on it. Um, it's a direct bolt on replacement to the rack. Um, so there's no uh, modifications or anything. Everything uh, just bolts on. Very nice. The cage by far is one of the best looking cages I've seen on a Talon. Do you plan on doing Thank the you. same style, like even for the four seater? I will be producing this cage for the two seat car. Uh, it does require a rear bumper that's with it. Okay. So that will be included with the cage. Um, when the four seater does come out, I definitely am gonna um, design something that resembles the two door cage. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Or the two seat cage. So. All right, so let's jump inside the cab real quick. I know you got some trick stuff going on in here. All right, so you got your own uh, dirt bags for the doors? Yeah, so um, I ended up going with a stock, uh, factory uh, lower Honda door. Um, it actually comes with a really nice uh, internal structure piece that Honda uh, re you know, sends with the outer door. The problem with it is you can't have any kind of storage on the door. So I definitely wanted to get some storage bags on the car. So I ended up fabricating an aluminum panel that mounts to the bottom of the, of the main door. Uh, the factory Honda skin screws to that. And then we're able to utilize a, a tool bag or door bag. Um, this car, we actually do have an axle wrap from dirt bags as well that's available uh, for the front and rear axles. 
Um, people might ask why put an axle wrap on. Um, mainly when an axle gets uh, nicked by a rock or in the element, um, they have a tendency to uh, prematurely crack. So, um, you know, whether it's a stock OEM axle or an aftermarket 300M axle, um, they're gonna protect the axle from nicks and cracks and it's definitely a, a really cool, clean way to cover the axle rather than using like electrical tape or something like that. Very nice. Now, what do we got going on the steering wheel? I know sometimes people, uh, when they're driving these cars on a paddle shift, you know, it can be hard to, uh, obviously when the, the wheel's cranked way over, you can't always get that paddle shift. And that's actually come up in a few other videos. So tell us what you got um, going on. So I bought this Honda Talon. I was super stoked that Honda decided to do this, this vehicle. Um, I've been hearing about it for a lot of years. I was really happy to hear that they want they were going to do a sequential transmission. So if you're driving the vehicle and you're steering and you're full lock and you have your hands on the wheel, you'd have to re-grip the wheel to shift in a turn. Um, after driving the car, I noticed it was kind of a problem for me. So um, I got to work uh, on that and I started working with MPI steering wheels to come up with a steering wheel solution uh, with uh, a button shifter style. Uh, deal for that so um, so yes we are going to offer a steering wheel a quick release uh, hub uh, MPI hub um, the uh, the spline spud that actually bolts to the factory column that you would need for the quick release is a race co product um, they're on the shelf they're ready to sell it's a, it's a bolt on item There you have it guys, Jamie Campbell. That Honda Talon is unreal. It's definitely a super cool car. Make sure you guys follow that guy. He's got a lot of cool stuff coming out and uh, should be fun. Let's jump over and see a couple more cars. All right, guys, I'm over at the Madigan Motorsports booth hanging out with Tom. I'm looking at this new 1000R. Tell us a little bit what you got going on in the R right now, Tom. So basically, uh, when we got this car, we developed a uh, basically a new cage with integrated rear bumper, all inch and three quarter DOM. Wanted to give the back of the car a little length, but give it that race inspired buggy style cage. Uh, and then we went with our traditional roof wing with the brake and amber light. Uh, and then we went down to, uh, once we got past all that, we did some little door accent pieces to fill in the open portion of the stock door. Really inexpensive, safe way to keep your feet in the car. Uh, and then we went down to suspension points. I mean, we did some radius rods with the big uh, three-quarter inch heim on the outside, five-eighths inner heim on the inside, and then we did tie rods on the front to start. Gotcha. So, so a lot of people, uh, if you haven't seen Madigan Motorsports, make sure you follow along. They got all kinds of cool stuff they're going to be laying down for the Honda Talons. Now, do you have stuff uh, planned for suspension-wise? Because I know you guys do a ton of really good stuff when it comes to suspension. Yes, yes. I have uh, plans to do a full long travel kit for this thing uh, to give that a little bit extra width and a little bit more wheel travel. Uh, so that's in the plans for it. Uh, maybe a new front spindle for the car and come up with a nice double shear setup for the rear radius rods uh, because that seems to be it might be a, a future problem with it being single shear okay well the car looks awesome tom as always man the work you guys put out i can't believe it it's it's really badass stuff i can't wait to see the suspension kit and the other things that they come out with so make sure guys you follow along go over to madigan motorsports and uh hit them up if you got any questions thanks tom thank you bud
there you go guys <laughs> that was a good show man uh, if you haven't been out to sand sports super show make sure you guys get out to the show put it on your list all these hondas i hope you guys enjoyed it there's a lot of things going on with honda so i'm pretty excited about it i know i'm going to get a four-seater myself so anyways guys hope you enjoyed see you next time